In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to optimize a piece of content. I've got a blog post for one of my affiliate marketing sites and I'm gonna be optimizing it using Yoast SEO so that it's fully optimized for search engines and it's got a focus keyword and you know everything's in the right place and it's as good as it possibly can be. So let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. Now, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. So please click the subscribe button. There's one down there. There's probably one in the corner as well. Give it a click and click the bell as well so that you get updated or notified when I upload a new video, which tends to be every single week. Also, just a reminder that I do live streams every Wednesday at 8 p.m. UK time. It would be great to see you on there. Uh, I hope you can make the next one. But anyway, let's crack on with this video. So I just recently, well, in fact, this morning, received a piece of content from one of my writers. It's for my Boot Boutique website, which is a WooZone powered Amazon affiliate marketing site. I was about to add it to the site and I thought, hey, I might as well record this and share with you guys how I add the content and how I optimize it using Yoast um, so that it's you know nice and friendly and got all the keywords in the right place. And hopefully it will rank well on the search engines. So let's get on the computer and I'll show you exactly how I add that content and how I optimize it. Let's go. So this is the content that I've just had from my writer. It's all about how to clean Ugg boots. So I'm gonna add it to uh, my book boutique site. This one here, you can see it in the background. I created it ages ago in a previous video tutorial. I'm sure you've seen it. If you haven't, you'll find it on the channel. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's a WooZone site running Kingdom theme. So yeah, here is the article and I'm gonna add it. Let's do that now, so new post. Now my writer sent it over nicely formatted anyway and, uh, and some images which I've already saved onto my computer. So that's handy. Let's put the title in. And this is the keyword or key phrase that I'm gonna be optimizing um, the article around. Let's set a category, Fly London. No, not Fly London, it's an Ugg boot. Uh, what am I doing? Never mind. Uh, let's copy this uh, this stuff. Not the images though, I'm gonna add them myself. So just copying that to my clipboard and pasting it in. In fact, I'm just gonna switch to the visual editor and I'm gonna paste it in there so we, we keep some of the formatting. So there's the content pasted in. Right, if we scroll down, I've got my Yoast SEO panel. Of you're going to need to install Yoast if you haven't done so already. It's a free plugin. If you go over to um, plugins and then add new and do a search for Yoast SEO, you'll find it. Once you've installed it and activated it, you get this lovely panel on all your products and uh, posts and pages uh, allowing you to optimize. So as I said, the focus keyword is going to be how to clean Ugg boots. And once I've added that, it then gives me some optimization tips. So for example, the focus keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of the copy. Keyword density is 0%. So there's a few things we need to do um, to improve it. I'm gonna set a featured image. And it's gonna be this one, I've already uploaded it. The reason I've already uploaded it on a side note is that I have actually already recorded this video, but then my recording software crashed and I lost it. So after I went and I had a cry, I've now come back and I'm re-recording it that's why these images are already uploaded. So um, I've got this image here, it's called Clean Ugg Boots. It's always a good thing to name your images around the keyword, it, it just you know helps it's, you know, get the keyword in as many places as possible on a page. And also set an alt tag um, to the same, uh, roughly the same phrase or the same or a variation, whatever. So let's set that as the featured image. There we go, it's just a picture of a couple of washing machines. It's a royalty free image. Obviously be very careful when you're using images, make sure that you have the rights to use them. And now we need to go through and start optimizing it. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save the draft for now. And make sure it's all up to date. There we go. So what we need to do is we need to get our key phrase into this article, we need to get it into the first paragraph as well as putting it uh, into other sentences and other paragraphs within the article, uh, maybe four or five times, something like that. 
Now when you're inserting your keyword or your key phrase into an article, you wanna make sure that you don't affect the readability of the article at all. So you know, think about how you're gonna insert it, make sure that it makes sense and make sure that it still reads reasonably well. So I'm just gonna add it's therefore important that you know how, is the keyword coming clean, Ugg boots. That I'm going to add some more words. If you do own some Ugg boots, there you go. That doesn't read too bad. So I've got the keyword in there. Uh, I'm going to add it here, which is into a heading how to clean Ugg boots by brushing them. Um, I'll leave that there. Let's remove that bit of space. So let me just see what the uh, Yoast says now. It's found it two times, that's not quite enough. Uh, I'm just looking for somewhere where I can insert Invest in protection. Ah, here's another one. So here's some information how to clean your clean Ugg boot. I keep putting your and I don't know why that is. That's clean Ugg boot. So that's three times. Is that going to be enough? Mm, nope. I think it probably wants it four times. So. Um, I'm gonna add an extra sentence at the bottom. Now you know how to clean Ugg boots. Boars, boots, you'll never need to worry about them looking dirty. Like that, I'm gonna make that resources uh, italic. Okay, ah, oh, four times, still not enough. Let's see if we can get it in one more time. On how to, I'm gonna put it here. Okay, we've done it, we've got it in five times is what it wanted. So next thing is no meta description has been specified. For meta description, I'm just gonna use this one. It contains the keyword, it should be fine. So I'm just gonna copy that. Uh, paste that in like that. No internal links. Okay, so we need to link to some things on the site. First thing I link to is my Ugg boots uh, category. I'm just gonna open another tab so I can get the link. There we go. I'm just gonna uh, copy this link here. Uh, this first keyword here will be fine. So I'm gonna make that a link like that. Um, I'm gonna add another line here so I can link through to um, another article that I've got which is all about wearing Ugg boots. Once you've cleaned the, um, your Ugg boots, you may want to Check out our guide on how to wear them. I'm gonna link that bit there. Just highlight, click on the chain. I'm gonna do a search how to wear. There it is. Just last, we've got a couple of internal links. So now we're green, which is good. That's what you want from your SSEO. You want everything to be green. It was already green on the readability because. Um, it's a well-written article, funnily enough. And when it comes to actually getting content created, I'm gonna be doing a video really soon on a few content providers that I've been using. Um, I just wanna make sure that they're happy with me to mention them and that you know they're providing some good quality stuff. Um, so check that out soon. So the final thing I wanna do is add a couple of images, or at least one image. I'm gonna add media. I've got this one, as I say, that I already uploaded. Um, that's just called Ugg Boots. I'm gonna call it Clean Ugg Boots because they're nice and clean. 
Uh, I'm gonna insert it to the right. I'm gonna leave it as a medium size. So that should pop over here somewhere. Like that. I think we're getting there. Let's publish and have a look. Let's view the post. So here we go, looking nice. Um, I don't know why that's not showing green up there, but you know it is green because we just checked it. But yeah, it's looking really nice. It's got the uh, the links. It's got um, got the images. It's got the alt tags. Just go in one more time and just double check everything and if there's any more things that we can do to improve. So yeah, we've got a green rating though. You know, I'm happy with that. I would I'd move on to the next thing. It says the SEO title is too short. We could probably improve that. Um, so to change that, we just click here. How? Oh look, there's the title I did earlier when, when it lost the recording. We'll go with that. How to clean up boots without ruining them. Easy how to guide. Uh, it's going on about stop words. I don't know what stop words. Well, I do know what stop words are. They're things like um, how and to. And for some reason Yoast doesn't like them. I'm going to leave them in. That's entirely up to you. I want my URL, which is this bit here to completely match uh, the keyword and the title and everything like that. So I'm just gonna leave that recommendation and then there's a consideration again around stop words, which I'm not worried about. Now I'm gonna be doing another video on how to optimize um, a WooZone product. In fact, again, I had already recorded that today, but I've lost it. So <laughs> I'm gonna re-record it again um, really soon. So that'll be uploaded the next day or so, maybe next week, depends how we get on. But we've optimized this lovely piece of content for the blog. I'm happy and I wish you the best of luck when you're optimizing your articles. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you are now clear in your mind how to optimize um, your content. As I may have already said, I can't remember, I'm gonna be doing another video on optimizing content, um, but the next one will be all around optimizing a WooZone uh, product. So a product that you've imported from Amazon, I'll show you, um, you know, how you can make it better and how you can adjust the title and the description, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that you've got something a little bit more unique and a little bit more optimized um, for the search engines. So I'm hoping that that will be done um, in the next couple of days. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out. And remember, if you're already subscribed, then do subscribe. Uh, you can do that by uh, clicking on the little eagle thing and click the bell and then you'll be notified when I upload that video amongst other things. Here is another video um, chosen especially for you. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, where shall I point? Let's go up there. <laughs> up there is my other channel. It's a vlog channel. It's all about business and stuff. Hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye for now.